today we are going to be doing a little bit of cleaning and organizing in terms of the guinea pig area because in case you did not know guinea pigs come with a lot of stuff therefore they need places to store their stuff so i personally and i think many guinea pig owners have like a closet maybe it's a bin it could be a place in your garage wherever it is that you store your guinea pig items specifically. So I personally have this bin that is now in front of you right now. And in here I store spare cage liners, a cage divider, food bowl, the pellets, chew toys, spare cleaning products. All of it gets put in here and today we're going to be cleaning it. Okay, so this is just a little like shot of um, the mess. As you can see, I go through this every single day at least once. Um, so we're going to be going through and we are going to be taking everything out. We've got like, these are some spare pee pads. Um, this is the divider I have on top. I've got currently, I have two bags of guinea pig food. I've got the adult guinea pig food and the baby guinea pig food because Autumn needs to be on baby food until she is six months old. So until about January. Um, you'll see I've got this, I've got, these are all blankets that I have, um, in here and just a whole bunch of stuff. So we are going to take it out. We are going to clean it. Um, my personal first step, I feel like, um, should be everyone's first step is most likely just to get everything out. So for me, I got everything out of the bin. I pulled out all the blankets. I pulled out all of the old toys, everything just got taken out of the bin and tossed on the floor. Then, um, this is me just like sorting through everything lightly. I didn't want to sort through anything until it was on the floor. So you're just seeing the bin, but behind me was everything scattered across the floor. So um, I just sort through all of this and then you'll see I had a white towel on there. I have now decided that that towel was overrated because it just kind of, for me personally, made a bit more of a mess and made everything look a bit more dirty. So there's like some food pellets and hay. So what I did was I shook all that out and now I'm going to get, I have a small red vacuum. And I'm about to go take that small red vacuum and I am going to just vacuum everything up. And we are going to try to get it as the floor as clean as I can possibly make it. Um, Cause yeah, guinea pigs are messy. The hay, like I only ever have the hay. I have hay, I have keep my, I store my hay bins in the garage and I feed the guinea pigs hay in their cage. That's really the only place where the hay should ever be. But yet it gets on the floor, it gets in the bins, it gets all over the house, it gets on my clothes. Like it's just, hay is just magically floating around everywhere. Um, in case you didn't know, when you have guinea pigs, hay will just magically go everywhere. So I just did some like vacuuming and now as many of you would be able to tell, <laughs> that was quite the improvement. And I did empty out the um, or the canister after this because it was messy. So now here is like some realistic background shot um, of the floor. Very messy. So I started by going through trash. So for example, um, that little, that, that curl sack, that was Cookie's curl sack, that was the curl sack that Cookie used, um, on her last day on earth, so, um, that gets stored in a bag, and no one is touching that. Um, these are food, so I'm, just me struggling to close the bag, apparently I can't close food bags anymore. <laughs> okay. So I tossed that to the side and then I looked, I just put the um, divider and whatnot. I put that over there. I sorted through the blankets and I folded it all up so that it was all going to be all nice and folded. Um, I went, so yeah, so essentially here are my tips for when you've taken everything out and now just have everything scattered on the floor. Start by going through what you want to keep and what you're going to get rid of. So I knew that I had like that old log, um, that was trash, got rid of that. And then you'll see in a moment here that there were also some treats that I had that had expired. There weren't many left, there were like one or two. Um, so I threw those away. After that, I then divided everything into categories. So this was the blanket category. I folded all of them, put them to the side. Um, I took out 
you're about to so once I kind of like made piles of everything this is now when I started putting everything in nice and neatly so I put the divider at the back of the cage and then I have a plastic bin and I think I'm gonna, yes okay I'm gonna bring it in now so I have the plastic bin and in there I store cleaning products so different sprays and then on the other side I've got the piggy's food I also made a nice decision to put the old plastic bin and put um, Snowball's food in there. And it's so much neater. By the time you see this video, I cleaned this about a week ago. It's so nice. So nice to just have everything organized. And then all the blankets and fleece items go in the middle. So old Heidi's and everything just sit in the center. So to review, pick one area you want to clean. Do not clean all of like your all of your guinea pig related things at once just pick one thing i picked the bin for today then remove everything vacuum it if it needs to be vacuumed get rid of the trash put everything into piles and then play tetris to fit it all back into the bin then i would consider that um achieved so i've got all my cleaning stuff fleece food and then the divider at the back uh, and that is essentially me being done. I've achieved everything. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope that you either got entertainment or cleaning motivation or uh, some organizational tips. Regardless, I will see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye.